Hi everyone, welcome to this video and in this video I will try to create a drawer or a card drawer from Linear. So if you go to the Linear app, if you click any of these, then you will see how smoothly it open the details with the drawer or you can say model. I am a big fan of these and they are, today we will try to recreate this exact same drawer. And these drawers are using in many websites. Without wasting any time, let's do it. And today we'll do it from scratch because one of our subscribers tell us to do it from scratch for beginner basically. So if you are not beginner, if you know how to install React and all, then you can skip this part. Let's do it. So we'll be using React with TypeScript, Talent CSS, and Promotion. For React, we'll be using Byte. Let's let let's install it first, and we'll be using Bun for that. Let's install. Project name will be empty. Then select React, then TypeScript. Now one install. Let's add the dependency. So let's start with motion. One add motion. Let's go to Talent CSS and install it for Byte. Copy the code, paste it, and we are not using npm. So remove it and add pan and hit enter. Now everything is sorted. Let's run it locally. Hit pan run dev. And it's working fine. So let's now clear everything, all the unnecessary things we have. Let's add Tailwind in byte config and also import it in CSS. Let's clear app.tsx and check uh, our till new CSS working or not. Let's add h1 tag, add tags to Excel. Let's check it working or not. Oops, I forgot to remove the app.css. So now what you need to do, just go to the linear card component we have and copy the code and create a new file and paste it over here. Okay. And with that, what you have to install is Lucid React and the dependency we have in the utilities. So now let's start creating the model or dialogue. Okay. So copy the code from here, copy the whole code paste it over here. So rename the function name, it should be app. So now it's working, but uh, now what we have to do, use Unsplash images, okay. So I have updated it with all Unsplash images. Okay, and if I now save it and check it, how does it look like, reload it. This looks nice, but there's an issue with it. It, I have to remove this dot as a uh, C, okay? Because uh, maybe you're in, I'm using images, but uh, it's uh, not from public folder, okay? It's from asset folder that I created. So that's why in Next.js, I have to uh, put uh, dot as a C because in the dialog images, I'm not using Mac image tag from Next.js. I'm using image tag from HTML image tag, okay? With motion dot image. So that's why I have to use dot as a C. But now I don't have to use it, I will remove it. Okay. Now if I save it and try to check it out, okay, it looks nice. So now I have to remove the background at all. First I have to remove all the dark classes we have, okay. Because you don't need that, you only need the light mode. I think maybe I can add a feature on UI layout so you can just copy the light version of the component. Okay, so I remove all the dark classes, let's see. So what I want, I want it to be center and the height will be like 80 or 70 B8. The way I have to do it first, let's uh, fix the trigger. Okay, so I remove the background and just add the border neutral 200. Okay, now if I check it, this is how it looks, okay? And I have to make it center. So for that, what I can do is justify send item center. So now it's working perfectly. Mm -hmm. So now what I will do, I will remove all this gap and try to maintain the image height depend on the content, okay? So there will be no height for images. It will increase or decrease uh, depending on the content. So let's first remove this PT20, add feed, place item, center, H full, okay? And after that, I will add a D, Wait, and then in deep, what I will do, relative, copy all these from here, I think. Border, including border. Remove the relative from dialog content, 
So remove this overflow wire too and add it in the tip. Okay. So these are slopes. It's not centered yet. So I have to add the now it's center. And uh, for the width, what I will do, it should be removed and this. For the height, I will use 80 bit. Okay. Perfect. I will remove the border from here. Okay. PG will be 100. Now we'll add the border over here. Border four and border white. You see, we have the border, but when you go up, then this border mix with the background, which looks great. So now we'll uh, fix this one and overflow Y auto. Okay. So I'll add a flex, flex and flex call. And then I'll wrap the image, I mean, dialog image with another D. And it should be full. Not perfect. Now it looks kind of okay. And now what I will do, I'll add flex one. Let's add overflow hidden. Do you see we don't have the scroll work? Okay, so now let's update this button, the close button. If I go over here and we have to remove all these, I mean, not all these, this will be white and there it will be black. The text will be black and I will put a border, border neutral three. Okay, cool. So now if I click on this and there's another thing that I missed, I have to put cover in the image. Okay, now if I check, it looks nice. Okay, cool. So that's it. This is another thing, another feature it have. I don't need to click on the button or click outside of the box. So I can control it from my keyboard. If I click on escape button, then it will auto close. Did you see I'm not clicking the button or outside of the box? Auto close. So that's all guys. I hope you like the video. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.